Hi there, my name is Karen and welcome to Sacred Symposium. This is a, a space where I channel beings who work with me and we bring forward messages that may help you during this tumultuous time on the planet. We are moving through a upgrading of our energetic system and we're elevating ourselves in our spiritual nature and that can cause a lot of um, labour pains and growing pains. And so sometimes it's nice to have, uh, oh, getting a lot of chills now, they like that. It's nice to have a lot of um, spiritual energy, spiritual beings, beings who are with us, but just unseen, uh, mostly unseen. Often people can see them too. And they are just able to come in and help us and assist by giving us some information or guidance. So my job today is to sit back and to see who wants to speak and what they would like to say. <clears throat> Apologies. <clears throat> Sometimes I have a lot of throat clearing to do and I know why, because I've forgotten my crystal. I usually hold a blue crystal, so I'm just gonna go and get that. Okay, so I got my blue crystal, so this helps open the throat, so you're able to communicate uh, much better. So it's allowing the throat chakra to open, for the communication to be said, to be spoken. And I'm also just picking up as well one of my beautiful, uh, this is celestite crystal. So this is very much, um, it's like a little egg here, which is just beautiful. And then you just turn it around and it's, I hope you can see just how it glitters and picks up all the different colors. It's very sky blue, very, very light blue, pale. And it's just beautiful. And the celestite is, um, helps you connect with the angelic realm. So I'm going to pop that in my lap. <clears throat> I'm going to hold the blue. And I think that should give us plenty of energy. So <clears throat> I will close my eyes because it just helps me concentrate a bit better. I can do it as I've said before with my eyes open or my eyes closed. Um, but yeah, let's begin. I hope my tummy doesn't rumble during this. One second. Just had a big yawn there and they can make you tired when you're going to channel. It can feel like you have to yawn or you're, you're feeling a bit tired as well. So I'm just going to get comfortable. And let's see. We are in fact here. We have been waiting for the opportunity to speak. We have gathered during her earlier video recording. And then she felt the need to channel because we prompted her. We tickled her throat and that gave her the necessary clue that she could use this time to set a recording. It is always good to do this because it is not only practice, not only connection, not only upgrading because every time she does this she is allowed to up level another degree. And so we anticipate that this will be a, a wonderful sitting with you. We are here and present and able to communicate with you through this one's voice and it is a great opportunity and we are taking it because there is much we wish to say. So much has occurred on your planet and so much is unfolding in front of your eyes that you may be feeling dismayed and you may find yourselves going through loops it is uh, as almost as a circular motion where you are not getting anywhere and you would anticipate that this keeps you stuck and keeps you uh, lacking in some way. You are, um, what is the word we are trying to, to say to her? You are fermenting. You are unable to continue on your path because there is this uh, established moment of uh, stalling. 
And so we find that these moments of stalling can serve up a great buffet of opportunity and information and that it is uh, required of you to pay attention to such situations. During change, although you are moving from one element to another, which she was describing in her earlier tarot reading, there is a need to also understand that in the movement from one to another, there is negotiation that occurs along the way. You must negotiate with yourself because you are in a constant battle with yourselves these days. You're battling between where your energy goes, where your attention goes, and where your uh, commitment, where your responsibilities lie. And so we understand that it is not easy for you to take time out to entertain such ideas as the spiritual hierarchy and the angelic realm and the sources of support and income that can come to you from the other realms. And so we come forward uh, in this uh, guise, in this way, in this translation, in order to be able to allow you to subdue some of your fears and to subdue some of your discontent because we value every moment that you exist. We value every inch of you. There is nothing that we wouldn't do to help you move forward in the line of progression, in the line of spiritual development, in the line of spiritual um, ascension, we would say. And so we are here to assist. How you find us is up to you. You find us through many, many means. Many of you will simply pray and feel the energy of a prayer being answered and feel the energy of support coming in because you know it is there. Part of you knows, even though your logical mind, it, which suspends all reason for a moment to believe in something you have known nothing of, you have never witnessed, it is a false belief you might say because there is no evidence to you ever that those that you communicate with are answering until you meet someone like this and you can see that yes there are answers yes there is communication yes you can have them there by your side you can have them there and feel them there and you can express and receive answers straight away and so there is a possibility for what you had blind faith in in the past becoming more real and as it becomes more real then then there's a question because it was fine while it was possible a maybe somewhere one day possibly but now that it is real now that it is here now that we are here and present and speaking with you that is very real and that is what is coming. So more and more this will come and more and more that shat may shatter your old ideas and your old commitments and your old loyalties, particularly to religion and such. But it need not. It may simply double your commitment to these. It may simply bring you the understanding that you felt uh, you, this one had a great belief, had a great connection with the divine. And despite keeping that well under wraps, she valued that more than anything. And she committed to that. And she agreed to certain things because of that great connection. And so this has led her through her path and to a point where now she is able to have full disclosure, let's say, to the other realms and the other beings and the other uh, master teachers who will assist and guide and also to the divine. Her connection with the divine continues as all of your connections to the divine continue. They do not sever. They are not ever uh, frayed, let's say. The connection remains strong and evident if you will simply open your eyes to it and open your heart to it. So very much a heart-centered experience rather than a mindful experience. So there is great um, benefit in controlling the mind and in spending time understanding the mind and the brain and the waves and how all of this works. And there is more understanding to come, more understanding of the physical and the transistor that it is, the, the, the absolute uh, signal receiver and signal sender. The fact that you are in constant communication, each cell with each cell, 
each neuron with each neuron, each molecule with each molecule, and each electron with the electrons in the universe. There is a constant conversation. So you are mulch, you are this uh, soup of interaction, and you think you are reduced to your physical, you think you are reduced to your mind, you think you are reduced to your uh, opinions, your personality, your uh, sense of self, and yet it is uh, much bigger. It is a vast experience should you wish to open up to the experience and we suggest that you feel um, through time and as the world shifts and change because it is and you can see much of it as um, loyalty shift and change and as uh, revelations come in you will be able then to have much more sure footing on such matters which before you thought were frivolous and imaginary and uh, insanity perhaps many people who were connected to all that is in a fuller way and unable to understand it and manage it because it should be managed it is important that you are able to conduct yourself with the most appropriate um we would say energy, but you might see it as uh, uh, appropriate endeavor or circumstance or ceremony uh, to initiate these connections. Uh, we find that we come through more easily uh, should you wish to set up some form of uh, operating procedure or a rule or a ritual, you might say. But this is not necessary. We still come through, we are still here, and we are evidence. We are evidence that the Lord that you believe in is uh, present, but is present in a much more uh, multi-dimensional way, in much more multifaceted way. And so what you call on and pray to and draw to you is a much more interesting idea than the, currently the one that you have. And so that revelation will come through as well because it is coming from this realm. You are still a part of this realm. You have not left this realm. And that is difficult to understand. There is aspect of you which is currently residing here. And you are currently fully focused on the earth to exist in this lifetime as the being that you are in order that you grow, in order that you have these experiences, in order that all that comes to you allows for you to experience and become more and feel your way through. There is a need to uh, garner information and knowledge and wisdom and how do you do that without experience? You cannot, so you must free yourself to live and to experience and not to be bound by the rules or the categories that life um, or community or society, let's say, thrusts you into. It is much broader and we accept the broadness of each and every individual, even yourselves, never mind as a society, never mind as groups of community who gather for one particular concern or one particular goal or one particular ambition, there are so many aspects to you, even as an individual, you know, as yourself, as the being that you are, there is, there is a vast number of opportunities for growth and development and understanding. And, and that's why you're here. That's why you've come. People say, why do I exist? That is why you've come to learn how to become more how to know more, how to understand yourself, to remember all of you. So it is not enough remembering a past life and dragging it with you into this one. It is important that you remember what that gave you and that you have that now. So there is no need for uh, toiling over it. You have it. And so you move forward, you move forward into your experiences, you move forward with that in your knapsack behind you. And so there is a, a need and a desire to grow and learn. And we find that the, the level of interest in such aspects is growing. And so there is a, 
a necessity for us to be more available. There is a necessity for us to be open to this communication and understanding and and development that is is required of us. And so we also must elevate our being, must elevate ourselves. We shift our energy in order to connect. We shift it a great deal in order to be able to translate uh, this communication to be able to sit within this being to be able to house ourselves in the energy in order that we are able to express ourselves and give her words which she can say and that takes change on our part because it is becoming more and more frequent it is becoming more and more necessary and more and more individuals are tapping into us they're tapping into us because we also have learned a great deal and we are also bridging the worlds we are bringing them back together so the worlds are coming together the invisible and the visible are coming together the seen and the unseen are becoming one your eyes are going to adjust in such a way that what was unseen will now be seen you are learning to upgrade your brain activity you are learning to function with higher wavelength activity you are learning to function tuned into those wavelengths and what they will reveal to you we are playing with her brain right now we are playing it like a piano we are able to sink in and set tones in order that she creates sound she is creating sound and you are hearing sound vibrate in your eardrums and that sound vibrating in your eardrums is bringing you this message and so all of this is sound all of this is vibration all of this is sentiment this is emotion this is knowledge this is wisdom which is translated and delivered to you so be open to this unfolding be open to this new mm, mm, development we want to say for you to drive forward in this motion, drive forward in this direction. There's no going back. You cannot, uh, what is it they say, unsee. You cannot undo. What you can do is move forward. What you can do is stretch yourselves, is move towards your limits and move past them. You think you are living out to your outer edges and you're not. You're restricting yourself by so much. And we say, move out past your limits. Move out in your energetic frequency. Move out in your aura. Move out to receive more of yourself. Move out to understand more of what it is that you are. And all that is very good and all that is spiritual. We hear this one throwing that at us. That's all very good and very nice and very spiritual. And um, that's great. But, you know, for the everyday person, what do they take from this? What do they get from this? How good? What is the point of that to them, she says? We find great point in that. We find there is a time coming where this is going to be normal. And as this becomes more normal, it is important that you have had a heads up. It is important that you have had some inkling of the changes, some softening of that radical uh, diverse uh, thinking that will be required for you to open your mind to the possibilities. We don't wish for you to neglect parts of your human life. In fact, if you can imagine, the parts of your human life that you enjoy now will become even more enriched, will become even better will supersede the previous experience by a gigantic amount. And so all the things that you think you have to give up, you do not. It will be better. It will be so much better. And so we are not saying this to you because we wish for you to become a different being. We wish for you all suddenly to don a robe and become spiritual. 
You are spiritual. You are spirit. Everyone. So we're not telling you to be anything else. We're not telling you to be something other. We're not telling you to drop what you are and who you are. This is who you are. You just ignore it sometimes. And so as everything shifts and changes and you are brought along on this wave of change, Oh, understand that it is a beautiful wave and it will result in great things for you. Your life will get better. It will be so much better. And so we would suggest to you that to embrace this in whichever way you can, as gently as you can, as slowly as you need to. But make a little effort to open the mind to the possibilities of living two worlds at once, of experiencing two worlds at once, of being a part and a pivotal part, an important part. You are important to us in this realm. You do work here. You are not simply focused on the earth. You do work here as well. And so we feel, if you feel that you are somehow not good enough or you are somehow faltering because you are not spiritual or you are somehow uh, driven by life and its physicality, don't think that that still means you're not spiritual. It, you're spiritual. Your spirit. You embody spirit. You are spirit embodied. The joy of being human is to be spirit with a body. Use your body. It's yours. There is great joy in being human. All we are saying is that the worlds are shifting and we are giving you the heads up, the changes of it, that things are going to roll in a different direction and we want you to be assured of your position. We want you to be assured of your power. We want you to be assured of your nature because the world can influence you in a negative way. There are m many uh, avenues of information coming at you and telling you what you are and who you are and what you will be next and what you will do and what you will not do and how you will be needed and when you will not be needed and how unimportant you are and we say to you, you are so important and the more that we can connect with you, the more you will remember that. The more that you can listen to our words, the more they will have an effect. They have an effect vibrationally. Your eardrums are vibrating. That is filtering to your brain. That is being jiggered around in order that you create some understanding. So if you think we're not with you right now, we are. If you feel that rise of chills up your back like this one does. If you feel the chills run down your arms and legs. Know that we're there. You're hearing us vibrationally. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're, here. we're with you. We're with you. We're with you. And so the path is moving forward. The road up ahead will take some negotiation and navigation, but you are best to do it with us, with us reading the map with you, with us guiding you, with us being your Garmin, was it what they used to say? 
your directions. Yes, we will help. Whenever you ask, we will help. We are helping you now. Those things you have asked for, we are helping you. We are working out ways to fulfill all the needs that you have because they come from a place of lack. And our job is to remind you that there is no lack. Our job is to fill your energy to such a degree where you feel complete. And then your vibration changes and all comes for the highest good of all, remember. And so we feel we have been singing here to you. We feel we have been uh, offering you a lullaby a gentle nurturing song to guide you, to hold you, to suggest to you that you are growing up. It is no longer enough to remain a child in this world. It is no longer enough to believe in the old things you believed in. It is time to grow up. It is time to embrace all that you can be to make your life on earth the best that you could ever have wished for. Should that interest you, then we will see you at the next meeting. And we are thankful for your attention and we bless you now with blessings of light and vibrant energy and heartfelt love for all that you choose to do following the advice of the beings of light who are always here wishing for your best life. Thank you. We will leave it there and we will step back. Thank you. Oh, it's a bit hard to come back. That felt very high. <laughs> oh, very nice energy. I feel quite putsy now. So I'm going to leave that with you. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And stay tuned for the next Sacred Symposium. Uh, I feel very relaxed right now. And bossy. So... Yeah, leave a comment if you enjoyed it, if it made any sense, if you felt it. I heard them talking about um, the shivers because I was having the shivers and they were saying it. So if you felt anything. And listen to it again and again if it makes you feel good. Great. Take care of yourselves. Today, just as a timestamp, is the 7th of February 2023. Blessings. Take care of yourselves.